Now that we've learned about what myeloma generally is and how to treat it, let's talk about the specific clinical manifestations of the disease, the most important of which is bone disease. Patients with myeloma lose bone. Why? Because the Pac-Man cell in the bone, called the osteoclast, is stimulated to actually get rid of bone by the myeloma cell. So our job is to stop that osteoclast from activating and destroying bone. Fortunately, today, we have drugs that help with this called bisphosphonates. And the monthly infusion of either Zometa or Iridia has been dramatically shown to reduce the risk of fractures and actually cord compression, often in the past leading to radiation or surgery to bone. That's no longer the case as much today because of the effective use of these drugs. These drugs are very potent and as a result can have negative impact on the kidney, so it's important that patients have monthly monitoring of their kidney function. As well, infrequently patients may have jaw problems resulting often from surgical procedures such as the extraction of teeth. So maintaining dental health is a key to making sure these drugs not only are effective, but reduce the risk of jaw problems that can infrequently come from the treatment of these drugs over the long term. Not only can we show effectiveness with drugs like bisphosphonates, but we also know that simply vitamin D and calcium can help. It's important that vitamin D levels be measured in all myeloma patients. Many of them are vitamin D deficient. So simply the usual amounts like 800 units a day or calcium at one gram a day may not be enough in a patient who's vitamin D, def D deficient, a frequent problem in myeloma patients. You may need more to actually have your vitamin D in the normal range. In addition to medical management and treatment with drugs or vitamins, we also may have you seen by an orthopedic surgeon. They can help assess, a, assess your bone disease. Does it need surgical intervention? Does it need the help of a physical therapist or a rehab doctor? Remember, the oncologists and hematologists are trained in bone marrow, not in bone. That requires the intervention of an orthopedic surgeon. We also believe that staying active is very important. Weight-bearing exercise keeps your bones healthy and happy. Don't lie around. That's how we cause more bone loss, more fractures. So overall, keeping your bones healthy and happy over the long run requires an integrative approach, not only involving treatment with drugs like bisphosphonates or vitamins like vitamin D or minerals like calcium, but also the involvement of an orthopedic surgeon often physical therapists and rehab medicine doctors as well. Occasionally patients may require radiation therapy to relieve bone pain or treat fractures, but this is being used less and less these days with the effective use of bisphosphonates and the interventions that are now available through our orthopedic surgical colleagues.